Sometimes it is almost impossible to try to convince another human being that there's other ways of doing things, to, to maybe buy the latest technology, uh, anything that would have to do with changing their life. If it's new, people are afraid of it. And I'm the same way. And I'm also the same way. If you tell me something works, you better show me something works. Because otherwise, it's going in this ear and out that, uh, that ear. If you don't have something to back it up, you know, you're talking to deaf ears here. And what I want to do today is I had a lot of interest on my other channel with my video I put up about me uh, losing weight, what I'm doing, and thought I'd go over some of the, the pros and the cons of the carnivore lifestyle. That's what it is, a lifestyle. A diet is something you do temporarily to get, to, get you through a medical crisis or lose weight. But then 90% of us come right back and gain it all back. And it's all for nothing. And half of those and most of those do not work. So I just wanted to go over a few things because it is new to a lot of people. It was new to me. I think six months ago, I didn't know anything about it. Nothing. And I've tried just eating vegetables. I've tried the vegetarian thing. I've tried everything. And the problem with when you're just eating salad and vegetables, uh, is such you have nothing to look forward to for dinner. You know you're eating a salad and trying to change up a salad so many different ways. I don't know how vegetarians actually survive and enjoy life. I think a lot of them don't. I think a lot of them don't enjoy life. And I know why. So this spring, every year I usually on my channel, I show my garden and do some gardening things. Well, I didn't do it this year because I knew I wasn't going to be eating any vegetables. And I didn't want to be around any vegetables because I'm not going to consume them. I waited probably two months before I actually started eating meat, eggs, fish only. That is what I live on now. As of this morning, I went from, and I'm going with my last doctor visit weight, which was 295 pounds. And today I weighed in at 248 pounds. And that's in 90 days. 90 days I've lost that much 47 pounds and I'm going to tell you the differences that I feel it's incredible my mind is so much more clear um, I re my memory my memory is so much better I know that's hard to believe that your diet would influence something like that but it does your diet has everything to do with your whole body and even though I've only been doing it 90 days and I am no expert, I'm just here to tell you what I've experienced. Uh, the changes, I mean, as far as eating, I eat good. I eat good for breakfast. Uh, I just had six pieces of bacon. That's right, bacon. And I had five fried eggs. I like to make the fried eggs because, you know, rooster likes to lick the yolk on the plate. But there was too much yolk today. She got her own separate plate and I had to break it off on there so you can't give her too much and that's what I eat for breakfast now I don't eat breakfast every single day some days I would say upwards of three days a week I don't eat but one meal and that is generally a ribeye steak or I got these uh, boneless well they're not boneless they're they're pork ribs they're big huge ones probably that thick with a lot of fat on them. Now, when you're in a carnivore diet, you want a lot of fat. You want the lean, the the most non-lean ground meat. Get the 70%. Uh, you want a lot of fat in it. Because your body is no longer consuming uh, carbohydrates. And that's what it's used to burning. Instead, it's got to burn fat. And that's what you want it to burn, is fat. And boy, does it burn it. And I'm going to tell you. Now, including exercise is very important. And even if you cannot exercise, uh, you will still lose weight and benefit. Now, when I was watching videos on this uh, lifestyle, I I, 
one thing I did notice is everybody that was making a video that had been on the lifestyle for for at least a few months, they looked so healthy, their skin, er, everything about them, you could tell they were ha uh, healthy. And I'm starting to see that in me now. Uh, my skin, I've, I've got spots that are clearing up. It's not as dry as it was. I had to, used to have to put lotion on my face every day because it got so dry around here and around my nose. And and it's and that's getting better. Um, I'm walk. I'm I'm not out of breath anymore. I mean, I could not make a video on the other channel without being out of breath. I couldn't go. That's one of the first things to go away. You know. As I had said on that video, if you take a 50-pound bag of dog food and throw it over your shoulder and go walk around, you're going to get wore out very quickly, very quickly. And that's basically what I've, what I've shed, is a bag of dog food, 50 pounds. I've got another 50 pounds to go. But if I'm feeling this good now, with just losing 47 pounds, I can't wait to see what I feel like at 200. And on top of that, what I'm doing is, is I gave up drinking. I don't no longer consume alcohol. So that, my body is, let me tell you what my body's doing right now. All them organs down there, they had to call a meeting. They did. The liver said, hey, heart, kidneys, come on. We got we to gotta have a meeting. They had a meeting. And they're all just... They're, they're kind of active, you know. They don't want to sit down. They want to go do what they do. Liver goes, man, what is going on? Is he possessed by aliens? What did he do? But we like it. Kidneys are going, yeah, man. The heart's going, oh, this is awesome. I feel like I'm 19 again. That's what your body's doing. The inflammations that you have in your body go away almost immediately. I threw the blood pressure pills out two weeks after I started because my blood pressure is normal. It is normal. In fact, while I am talking, let's do it. While I am talking, and I had very, very, very high blood pressure, uh, there were times I almost had to go to the emergency room because the readings were so high. On this very machine... So we're going to go ahead and do that. And while we're talking. Now I will tell you the one thing about the lifestyle that you may not like. Depends on how you are. Is if you're a snacker, you're very limited on that. But you got to be creative. About the only thing you can snack on is uh, pork rinds. And I happen to like pork rinds. And I got a little dip I make out. You can have sour cream. There's no carbs or, you know. Uh, you, I take a little hot sauce mixed with sour cream and I dip my pork rinds in there. Hey, they're good. I don't eat them all the time. But, what do you mean, air? See, my blood pressure's so good it don't know what to do. Let me try this again. Air. Might be getting low on the batteries. And I got these that I get from Aldi's. Okay, this is the jalapeno flavor, but they have the regular. Zero sugar and zero carbs, and they are addictive. And I can eat these. They're beef sticks, and they're very good, very good. They're called Sims. Zero sugar. Now, these are $7.99 a bag in Aldi's, but if you get them on Amazon, they're $21.99 a bag. So where are you going to buy them? You're going to go to Aldi's, ain't you? I know it. And I usually buy about three bags of them. When I feel the need to snack, I eat a few of them. This thing's about to chop my arm off. My goodness. Now my blood pressure probably shot up from doing this video. Let's see. It's coming down. Where are we at? And I haven't been sitting very long. My God, how long is it going to take? Ooh, that's the highest I've seen the low one. 128 over 93, but that's usually 70 to 80. And I just ate breakfast. But man, that thing is... Uh, I do this a couple times a day, and it's always good. I am keeping an eye on my blood sugar, and that's 
that's going down as well. Uh, what I do is I go to all these. I get four or five small, I think they're eight ounce ribeyes. There, there's two in a pack. You just take scissors and they're vacuum packed. And then I get two of the great big one pound ribeyes. And then I'll get a, either a salmon and a trout. And sometimes they got different kinds of fish, but it's usually trout and salmon. I think they got tilapia. I've, ne I've never even tried that. I am not a big fan of seafood. Never have been. But I put both of those, the steak and the fish, in the toaster, in the uh, air fryer I have, which has a toaster oven in it. It air fries, um, toast, convection oven. And I put it in there for about eight minutes a side. And the fish, total of about 15, 16 minutes. The fish is done perfectly. And you want to use a lot of butter. Butter is uh, part of it. Real butter. Two ingredients on there. That's it. Whatever, Whatever's in butter. But don't... Some of them will trick you. They'll say other artificial ingredients and other ingredients. Don't buy those. All these does have the good real butter. Uh, way you can tell is when you melt real butter in the microwave how clear it looks. Versus that margarine, garbage, country, crock stuff. Don't even think of using that. And you just melt butter all over your steak, all over everything you eat. And I'm going to tell you, you probably won't touch a steak sauce again once you've had butter on a steak or fish. Ooh, it's good. I also found a barbecue sauce. Let me go get it and show you guys because it is so good. All right, just because you got to eat steak and things like that doesn't mean you can't make stuff a little better. Uh, if you do end up consuming a few carbs, it isn't going to kill you, you know. Now, this stuff here, if you can find this in your store, this, I tell you what, it, it is one of the best sauces I've ever ate in my life. And I don't go crazy with it. You can see at the bottom it says two carbs per serving. So I go light, but you go look in your grocery store at any barbecue sauce on the shelf and look at the ingredients and it's pure garbage. It's one of the worst condiments out there for food. But this stuff is called G. Hughes Smokehouse Sugar Free. Now they also have a honey flavor that I got out in an accident last time. That has a trace amount of sugar in it. Of course, they probably use honey. But that's good. I use it sparingly. Uh, and I don't doctor, you know, I make my own tartar sauce out of sour cream. Okay, it tastes just, actually, I think that may be one of the ingredients for it. I always made my tartar sauce with mayonnaise, uh, but I make it with sour cream. I put, what do you call that, the relish in there, because relish hardly has anything in it, and a little salt and pepper. Now, and, and it's great, man, it tastes just like regular tartar sauce. Because I gotta kind of kill the taste of fish a little bit, but that salmon and the the trout's my favorite that all these has, and they have very good meats. Uh, eggs, I, eggs are very important. Egg is probably one of the most perfect foods on earth. I mean, you can, everything about it is edible. You can even eat the shell. You can eat the shell. They grind it up and make it into powder, sprinkle it on food. Uh, very good calcium proteins. I give it to my I give my eggshells to my chickens, and they eat them, and it's very good for them. But I buy the organic or the cage-free uh, eggs. They're a little more, but they are so much better in taste, and are better for you than if you were to go buy just the, the everyday eggs that are on your shelf. Uh, so that's you know. What's, and, I, and I'm going to maintain what I'm doing. Cost-wise, let's talk about money. Yesterday I spent $135. And that will last me about 7-8 days. Now, these things certainly added to the price. I also picked up some other things I don't normally get, like water. Uh, you know. But now when I was going, when I was not eating carnivore, I would go in and say I was making spaghetti. I got to have my ground meat. I got to have my Italian sausage in there. Then you got to, 
everything that you have to buy, your garlic bread, and then you're going to buy a couple days worth of food, 70, 60, 70, 80 dollars. And I would do that two days a week at least. So I am not spending any more money. In fact, I think I'm probably, if you didn't count the gas that I, I was spending to go to an hour away to buy this stuff, I would probably be saving a little money. So don't let, don't think that cost, and, and there's ways to buy it, and you don't have to eat steak every day. I just choose to. You can eat hamburger every day. I'll even take eggs, a couple eggs, mix it in with my hamburger meat. You know, you don't want onions or anything like that. And then I'll put those on the grill. And I use spices. A lot of people are hardcore. They don't. But I'll use some spices. Just don't go overboard. Now, for salt, I use Redmond's Ancient Sea Salt. The best salt you can buy, man. And put salt on everything. Oh, we ain't supposed to have salt. That's what your doctor tells you. And I'm going to have all my blood work done again when I reach my goal. But if I feel like I do now, and I'm not supposed to have salt, and I'm eating the hell out of salt, something's wrong. The doctors, it's time we start not believing everything they tell you, because they want you unhealthy. They want you unhealthy. They want you on medication, because the pharmaceutical companies and the insurance companies want you on medication. And the less medication that goes into your body, and the more that you can get off of, the more healthy you'll be and the better you will feel. And all they are doing is keeping us feeling bad. That's the truth of it. There are some good doctors on here that will explain to you. Dr. Ken Berry is one of them. He's the one, if you're thinking of doing this, Dr. Ken Berry, I'll put a link in the description. You can go check out his channel. There's another one, Dr. Ken Baker. Uh, he's all carnivore. <laughs> he's got some great videos. Um, you know, I'm not going to put a lot of videos on about this unless you guys show an interest. If this doesn't get any interest, then this will be it. But just thought I'd tell you about what's going on with me. If you do not subscribe to the other channel, if you, if you want to go check it out, I'll put a link in the description. Go check it out. I just went back and went to town and got some lumber. I'm going to start building my workbench probably tomorrow in the new building. Uh, it's just going to be so hot today. Uh, probably be hot tomorrow, but I got to get worked up to it. But we'll get it done. Uh, yeah, go check out the other channel. Let me know what y'all think. And if you need any advice the, from my minimal knowledge of 90 days on this, let me know. Uh, I think I left out beverage. No alcohol, obviously. If you do drink alcohol on this lifestyle... You have to drink something like gin or whiskey, no beer, no carbonated alcohol. Uh, you cannot mix it with a carbonated drink. I would recommend a sparkling water. Walmart sells them. Uh, they have one, the lemon, li the lime, key lime. You mix it with whiskey, tastes like 7-Up, you know, if you're a drinker. Otherwise, just sub abstain from it until you reach your goal, and then, you know. But beer... Don't even attempt this if you're a beer drinker, especially a heavy beer drinker, because every drink you take is ruining everything you've done. And I learned long, I, I mean, this has taught me, every diet I've had in the past, I was still drinking. Well, it was like a treadmill, you know, a hamster wheel. You kept going, but you're not going to go anywhere. Thanks for watching. Happy trails.